a seven pound system as to where your car is a 14 pound system. In other words, don't take the cap off, use your own car. Probably wouldn't fit anyways. I got the 50-50 orange stuff in there. Heaven forbid you put the green stuff in, it kills the neighbor's cat. No, uh, <laughs> we got the orange stuff in there. The John Deere with a serpentine belt up front with a DC alternator. This DC alternator is what's going to charge the battery when it is running. When it's not running, then we have a battery charger which is inside. Uh, but this DC alternator is only 0.5 amps. In other words, it's not 10, 15. Some of these new cars have 90 amp alternators on them. The I don't have much. the air conditioner, the boom button. No. <laughs> Specifically designed for this system. Don't try to take it off using the car. Probably wouldn't fit anyways. There's an oil filter, fuel filter, fuel filter. Your air filter right here behind the corner right here. And down on the bottom, there is a shutoff valve with a hose. Comes out here with a plug in the side of the skid. Oil and filters should be changed at least once a year. Or 150 hours, whichever comes first. But it should be done at least once a year. Even not with the 150 hours on it? Either way, whichever comes first. You know, once I mean. a year or the 150. So if you're going to run continuous around the clock. You ever 150? How much you... Or you're going to set an exerciser yeah, yeah. on it. And with your exerciser, it'll probably have 30, 32 hours a year just for the yeah, exercise. Yeah. There is a block heater right here, with the hose right here, that circulates the coolant in the engine to keep the engine warm. So we want to make sure it stays plugged in at all times. That keeps your engine ready to roll, life safety, ready to run. What kind of diesel is that, Come. A little John Deere. John Deere. Oh, you did say Johnny Deere. Uh, the oil dipstick right here. Your fill cap right on top. Big turn knob right there. I said oil and filter should be done at least once a year. Down here on the tank, there is a flip-up lid. Right beside the flip-up lid for your tank is an analog gauge for the empty and full on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's got a stick in it over there. That's a full. Like yep, got shorted somehow. They filled it for now. <laughs> How many gallons? Uh, there's a tag right above it on top of my header. What's this leaking over there? Probably some wa water from the rain. Let's see. And I also, oh, I filled it up, I filled the radiator up a little bit too. Okay. Orange. Oh, is it orange over there? Yeah. Oh, it's your shirt. Uh, what does it say? What does it say right there? 298 or something? Well, I'm sorry, where at? Where are you? Oh. 298, yes. So it's 298 gallon. Over here on this side, we have two breakers, which once this panel's up there, and you have two transfer switches inside. One transfer switch, second transfer switch. And it's got 100 amp breaker, 150 amp breaker, so there are two different transfer switches. So if you one of these breakers is off, that transfer switch is not gonna get power in there. It'll still fire up and run, the power only make it to here, it won't go in. So you wanna make sure that these breakers are on at all times. So once I have the cover on there, you, all you'll have is the breakers. And this is the controller. This is everything about the machine. Three buttons here on the front. Off, auto, and run. Always go to the off position first. Off. That means the machine is off. Now, if I walk away from the machine, it is off. It will never run for you. There's an alarm silence if you don't want to sit there and listen to it. But in that off position, it's off. Now I can check the oil. Now I can do what I want to do. Auto, which is where it should always be, so you're in the off position, go to your auto, which is where it should always be, which is your little green light there. It should always be an auto, means that this thing can fire up and run at any time. So as that thing says start, it's going to tell it to start. The fire pump and the two transfer switches, all three of those will tell this to start. So it's, you'll have to keep an eye on that fire pump. I don't know how they have it set up, but if it, it will tell this to run as well. And then your run position. If we go to off first, now we can hit run. And it will stay running and stay running and stay running until you turn it off again. Make sure you put it back in auto when you're done. There is a little fault indicator here when it's yellow, it's just a, com it's a common alarm. When it's red, it's an actual shutdown. There is a little turn dial here. Please do not mess with my turn now change all my settings no you go through it if all you do is do not touch anything 
this LED display continuously scrolls a menu so you don't have to mess with anything. Voltage, amperage, frequency, and watts. Engine temperature, oil pressure, fuel, oh. battery <laughs> voltage. Total run time, so we got an hour and a half of run time on here now. And Jerry's in the standby auto mode. And we're right back to your voltage, amperage, frequency, and watts again. And that continuously scrolls. So you don't have to mess with my turn knob. No. <laughs> Stay out of it. If I was to go through the turn knob, I could actually scroll through some of this stuff here and I can go to an event log and I can click in on it and I can say, oh, engine stop and not an auto, horn sound. Oh, somebody's been playing with, you know, he doesn't tell me who did it, but I, I, it tells me everything under the sun. No, stay out of the turn knob. It needs to be an auto. There is an emergency stop here if you had to shut it off for some reason. It'll pop up, tells you emergency stop shut down. So make sure that stays pulled out. To reset it, make sure you go to your off position. That's kind of your reset. Put it back in auto when you're done. Any question on how to start or stop the generator? Manual. You don't have a manual on this. The one. manual for the generator? Yeah, it's, inside it's inside the transfer. Okay. Shop. Stay out of it. I just went over everything. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I, I, yeah, I don't. If it's if it's in auto, if it's in auto, you you don't you, you, you don't. Just, no, we we run that one over once a month, but you got to put it in manual. Yeah, he just did it. That's what I just did. The off yeah. auto and run. Oh, we man. just started it just now. Yeah, I know, but you okay. want, were you not paying attention still, when it came on? But it made a lot of noise. He's in auto. He's not big smoke manual. came out of it. He's in. He's in auto. You hit off. You get off. You hit run. Just hit run. Hit run. <laughs> so that's right now. Stay running. Stay running. Okay. We know you're getting old, but did you hear it start? Yeah, I heard okay. Just making sure. I didn't see a manual. You know. Make sure it's in auto. Make sure your breakers are on. Make sure you well, have, have to fuel. worry about it anyway. I'm gonna go be a runner. Yeah. That's that's your three biggest things. No All right, man. any question on how to start or stop it? Okay, let's run inside to the transfer switch real quick. Can we walk? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we got to run. <laughs> Remember, this is out there for the world to see. Yeah. Oh, okay. 10,000 comedians out of work. Because, you know, Chris, he kind of gimps. He don't really run. 10,000 comedians out of work. And the computer guy trying to be funny. You know? You're going to have to hang out with me more. That's all I can tell you. Yeah. Just can't go in that way. Can't go that way? Back where I was at. <laughs> it's only as good as you can get here. There's both of us here. What do you expect? Uh, 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 you heard that, didn't you? Got, you got my number. Yeah, you yeah, heard that one real quick. <laughs> After the first time. Okay, down here. I'll come back and take care of it. we got to crawl under the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, real quick. I showed you the battery on the side of the generator over there. The battery you should replace every three years. Well, if it was a hospital, I can understand every three years. They last five to seven years. What we have here is a fully automatic charger. So it's not a trickle charger. It's not a straight rate charger. It's not a high charger. It is automatic. Uh, the top one is your amp meter and the bottom is your voltmeter, so it is a 12 volt battery. What we have is two fuses here. With the AC input fuse, 90% of the time this amp meter is going to be on zero, so it's not charged. So we're not going to, so you're not, it's not a trickle charger, it's not a straight rate charger, it's not a high charger, it's fully, so we're not going to charge and charge, we don't want to burn the battery up. So 90% of the time this amp meter is going to be on zero because it's already charged. If all you were to do was to pull out the AC input fuse, that's like you unplug in the charger from the wall. Yeah. When you go to plug it back in, the amp meter will pop up and drop back, kind of a self diagnostic so you can see that it is actually still working. It pops up and drops back down. Annunciator. What we have here is the annunciator. We have the generator side of it, we have two transfer switches, which we have the two transfer switches right here behind you. But the annunciator, the only thing with this annunciator that I care about is this one that says communication status. Has a green light on it? Good. Whatever else is your problem. No. <laughs> No, it, with that green light, it's telling me, hey, it is talking back and forth to the generator. Right now, the generator's in the system ready, so it's in the green, so it's ready to roll. It means it's automatic. It's ready to do what it had to do. Right below it, when we started the generator, generator running light would have came on. But it, then the system ready would have been red because uh, it, we had started it manually. We, it, wasn't, it wasn't ready anymore. 
and it would have said not in auto because we weren't in auto out there anymore. And if we had one, a load on it or transfer switch had a load on it, the generator uh, supplying, it would have me supplying a load. So there was no load on the generator. And if there's any faults. So if we had low oil pressure, low fuel, you'll have that alarm. You'll have a common fault alarm. You'll have, it's not in, you'll have like four lights all flashing at you, the one that's solid, or go look at the generator and it'll tell you on the display exactly what's wrong with the generator. The two transfer switches, which are behind us, which I'm going to go through, which has the, the same displays right here on the top. Okay, let's go through the transfer switches real quick. We have two of them. One over here, and they both look identical. That whatever the loads are, this one here comes out to this panel, and that one comes out to the panel beside you. That whatever those loads are, it's in the very back back here that I will wrap my hands around. So this is the load. If you had somebody on the life support system or you have something that needs power all the time, which is that panel, we want to keep it hot all the time by either flipping this switch down on generator or up on normal power. So all you're doing is flipping a switch, just like your light switch. There is a bar over here on the side with a little red handle that emergency situation, you could stick it in this little hole right here. That shows it in right here. So normal power is feeding the load right now. That is an emergency situation only. You could disconnect the computer by pushing in on the orange tabs and disconnect the computer and you could transfer it by hand. No, stay out of there. Should be no reason to go in there anyways. There is a computer here that's going to monitor these three hots, which is your normal power. Anything happens, brown out, dim out, single phase, amps, those three hots, it's going to tell the generator to fire up and run. You'll transfer and then the generator supply the power. Good, stay out of there. Yes, there was the manual for your generator, but stay out of it. No. Because everything you need to know is right here on the front of the transfer switch. On the very top up here, this box coming into it, the normal source coming into it, is within a 95% range, so I have a green light. It lets me know that normal power is good. On the other side, source E, or emergency source or your generator outside, however you want to look at it. When we started the generator just a minute ago because those breakers were on, that power did come into here and it said, hey, that generator power was within a 95% range. That light came on saying that power was good. In the very center is your switch. So you're either on normal or you're on emergency or normal feeds the building or generator feeds the building, however you want to look at it on the display. The LED display here. The top line tells you system ready. So it lets me know, hey, we're operational, we're ready to roll. The second line, it is blank. There is nothing in there, which means if or when we set the exercise, somebody said we, they were going to let me know when, when we need to set the exerciser for it so it'll run once a week, that'll be in that line. Please do not set it on both of them. Only set it on one or the other so we don't end up with two different time. No. Well, I'll set that here in just a little bit. Or that'll have your time delays in it. So when the power goes off, one, two, three, we start the generator. One, two, three, transfer. Those time delays will be in that line as well. Then you're up and running on the generator. Normal power comes back on. We're going to stay on the generator for five minutes. Make that, sure that power is there, that power is still there. And that'll be counting down. Five minutes, four minutes, three minutes. Then it'll transfer back to uh, normal power. Then it'll let go of the generator. And the generator has its own five-minute cool-down period and shuts off. So once normal power comes back on, it's going to be about 10 minutes before it actually shuts off. Then we have normal voltage, emergency voltage, and your four buttons across the bottom. The first one where you can go through stuff, the second one's view where you can check things out. Set and test. If you wanted to test a full outage, you could test it here, but that's you telling it to do its job. If we go over here in this next room, in the electrical room, we can actually shut the power off to the two transfer switches, which is what I'm going to do here, which they're marked for ATS 1 and 2 in that room right over here. Uh, we don't have anything marked on here yet. But then we can shut those breakers off and then this will go through its actual test run, which we'll do. Or if you're going to set something, like if I push the set button, push set, up pops your time, set your time or your uh, password, zero, 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 zero. And if all I do is hit OK, the first thing comes up says time and date. I can go through and make sure the time and date is correct. But if all I do is go down one, that is your exerciser. Now I can go through and set the exerciser. Vent number one, it's disabled. We'll enable it, next. Unload it, next. Weekly, repeat rate one. Duration, we'll do a 25 minute exercise. 
five plus your five minute cool down period they give you a half hour a week next start date when do you want this thing to start exercising or when do you want it to exercise mondays we usually do it in the afternoon on the end of the month. So they do it over there once a month. Once a month. Oh, you weekly. It's going to be a weekly thing. Okay. You want to It'll run that? on its own. Do you want it like six o'clock in the morning? Because there's kids, or how you want yeah, to? You don't want to well, do there was kids no right. kids will be there. Kids, so. kids won't be here till nine. So okay, you want to run seven. it at seven? Seven o'clock. Monday morning, seven o'clock. Okay, so we'll set it for the twenty third. So we'll go. Two, three, four, five. Two, thirty. So on five twenty three sixteen. Next, at what time? Seven. Seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. We'll hit save. Accepted. We'll go back. Main screen. So now in that blank line, there is a no load exercise for five twenty three at seven o'clock. So this is going to run uh, mm -hmm. once a week. It'll run once a week for your thirty minute run. Even though you get says 523, it's going to start. And then every, so at seven days, start again, seven days, start After again. That That's where the 130 hours comes in, where it was. You're 32 hours a year, yeah. That's 32 hours. 32 hours? That was 52 weeks. That's 25 hours, almost right there, one year. Right? Just on, Isn't it that's, not weeks? Counting, that's not a count any power outages. That's just counting run time with the Right there, brains. Hey brains. It's twenty six hours a year. But it, but, it, but we have fifty two weeks in it. It's only a half hour run time. So that's what, it's a, that's what I'm saying. So twenty. Twenty six and twenty six is fifty two. Yeah. Right. Any questions on it? No, we're good so far. Right? Can we test it? Well, we're going to test it. Good. So, I'm going to shut them off. You give me two seconds here. I'll be right around the corner. I'm right back. I'm just going to shut the door. We'll put power supply on there. I know. How about they got two locks on those? Well, they got an interior and an exterior That's lock so on those. That's so you can't get out. There it goes. That's so you can't get back to the box. Fire. Here, firing up. There it goes. Wow. I made a kiss. <laughs> That's a transformer. What was that? Is that thing behind my head? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right behind your head. It scared, it your hair a little bit. It scared the crap out of me. <laughs> okay, so we had one, two, three, start. We had yeah. one, two, three, transfer. And you were up and running on the generator. Now, I just got here. I have no idea what's going on. Uh, the generator's out there running. And I can come into here and I can say, oh, okay, what the heck's going on here? Well, normal power is good. So normal power is on to this box within a 95% range. Oh, generator power is good. So the generator is out there running, so the power for the generator is within that 95% range. Oh, wait a minute, generator is supplying the building, or whatever this load is. System ready, so it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. The second line where it has transfer from emergent or from standby, three minutes and 15 seconds, it's counting down still. And then you have normal voltage, emergency voltage. If I don't want to sit here and wait that time delay, on the very end it says end. I'll let you push that end button. And now normal feeds the building and it will let go of the generator and the generator has a five minute cool down period and shuts off, but that one behind you is also in the same. I'll let you push that one too as well. And the end button it says end, okay. And it transfers back. Now the generator on the display out there will say cool down. And it runs for five more minutes and shuts off. Didn't you knock him on something? Yeah, you went from a source on to a source on. So it's just like a 50 millisecond blink. So these things just went blink. Yeah. But out there, yeah, those might be on them big. Uh, it might take them five minutes to boot back up. Okay. All right, any questions on it? It'll restore itself, though, if you, if you lose power, right? You five lose, minutes, retransfer, yeah. five re minutes, shut down. So if power goes back out, then you reset your five minutes. Oh, that you know way those, you're not flip-flopping back and forth, back and forth. Those lights are on those um, the sensors, so it probably won't turn on until you walk back in. Right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because they're not switched. They're on motion. 
Wave your hand right in the air. Just any, like any, you question, any, any questions? Oh, uh, no. Uh, Pretty straightforward. Thank you, thank you. That's it. That's it, that's it. Thank you very much.